In today's video, let's talk a little bit about lighting. This is the Ambit Full FL80 Video Lighting Kit. It comes at £199 on Amazon. And to complement that, this is the Ambit Full P60. It's a 60 centimeter softbox with a honeycomb design. I'm gonna set both of these up to see how good this performs as a studio light. I'm essentially going to be replacing my ring light, which can be quite harsh and quite directed. I always recommend having a softbox light if you wanted to create the best looking videos, get a very non-harsh, soft looking light for any type of filming that you want to do. So let's just get straight into it. One of the best lighting sources for me personally is natural light. As you can see in my room here, I've got plenty of windows. All I need to do is open up these shutters and a lot of sunlight will come in. I even have this very large skylight, which is great for bringing in more light as well for doing any filming. Now, if you don't have a lot of lighting or a lot of windows in your studios or your offices, then you'll probably need something like this to do your filming. And I'm pretty excited to try this out to see how much of a difference it makes. So let's go ahead and unbox this. So inside the main video kit box, you have yourself the user manual, you have a clamp, you have two USB-C charging cables to charge up the batteries. You can see they're quite heavy duty batteries that are included. They have USB-C ports on there. You can actually power it with the DC input as well. This is the big DC brick, charging brick that comes with the plug. You also have a strap. This is the Bowens mount dome that sits on top of the unit. A grip handle, which actually is very nice and easy to hold. And it's actually quite strong to be able to hold the heavy duty light here. And this is the main unit here, so it is quite heavy. It is an RGB light as well, which I think is great, so it gives you a lot of options. Like I mentioned, this does have a Bowens mount on there, so that allows you to combine various different accessories and light modifiers, such as softboxes, reflectors, and many more. And if you just go onto Amazon, for example, and you search for Bowens mount, you'll find a whole load of accessories that are compatible with this. Now the FL80 has a large LCD control panel just there, which is quite easy and convenient to use. There's also an optional extra that you can buy, which is the remote control. So if you wanted to wirelessly control this, you can buy that from Amazon as well, but that is not included in this kit box that I've got with me. The settings, it can also be saved automatically, which is you know quite convenient for having immediate use the next time you turn the device on. So as I'm gonna set this up, this doesn't actually come with a tripod. So if you wanted to just set this up in position, you would have to buy a tripod. This obviously allows you to use a grip handle if you wanted to use it handheld, but for most people, that's probably not going to be the case. I have my ring light here, and this has a tripod stand that can easily fit into the clamp hole here for the FL80. So I'm gonna take the ring off, and I'm gonna clamp this on top of that, and then set up the dome and the softbox, which is the P60, and then I'll showcase to you guys how it performs. Okay, so to turn it on, you just hold down the on off button. Right, now this video kit is quite high powered, it's 80 watts, and it has a whole bunch of LED beads in there that will give you a very good color scale. To run through the different options, this button on the right hand side, you'll see currently it's on HSI, hue, saturation, and intensity. This switches to the RGB color spectrum. Press that, it goes through those different types of effects and go back to the CCT one. This is the one you'll probably most commonly use. So if I switch over to the Kelvins here, you can go as low as 2,800 Kelvins, which is a very warm light. And this goes all the way up to 10,000, which is a very bright blue daylight kind of light. And on the right hand side, you can actually change the intensity of that. So the brightness levels, like so. So I'll go to 50% because I think that's quite bright. Press the button again. This is the hue saturation intensity. So you can switch between the hue colors, the saturation levels and the intensity of each of them as well. So here's an example. 
very bright yellow. Go to the next category. This is the RGB CW color spectrum. Now, of course, it might be recommended you get the remote control just to make this a little bit easier. But if you don't have the option, you can cycle through here and then you'll be able to select and change the different colors. So like so. I'm just playing around with it, making some random colors, but it's pretty straightforward. And finally, you can cycle through the different effects. So you have paparazzi, lightning, police, fire truck, and you can also change the frequency and the brightness of each of these as well. Ambulance, fire, fireworks, fault bulb, TV, and RGB circle that cycles through the entire spectrum. So it's very easy to operate and it's so straightforward. The buttons are so easy. You can also set them to remember your preferences for the next time, which I think is great. So now let's go ahead and I'll switch back here. What I'll do is I'll change the Kelvin level to a little bit more of a neutral number. Let's say 4,000 and I'll leave it at 50%. But I'm gonna showcase the difference between having this video light kit shining on me as opposed to without. Okay, so this is the lighting condition without the FL80 video light kit. I have no external electrical lights that are directed at me. The only light source I have are from the windows and the skylight, so the natural sunlight. So what I want to do is if you do have an office space where you don't have any windows, it will be completely dark. So I wanted to showcase how much of a difference this studio light makes. So what I'm going to do is close all of the shutters close the skylight blinds, make it dark, and then turn on the softbox. So I'm not sure if you guys can tell the difference, but it's actually quite dark in here now. It's completely blackout. It's probably picking up with the shutter priority on the camera, so you're still seeing a lot of light coming in. But I wanted to showcase the difference with turning this on compared to what you guys are seeing right now. So now the studio light is on and this is set to 4000 kelvins and it also is at 50% brightness. You can see a massive difference that this makes. It makes the video so much clearer, it's easier to pick out the subject. One key thing you should always remember is if you do have a single source light directed right at you, you should have some back filler lights as well because this will probably create a lot of shadows and that's something you like to avoid. One thing you can do is you can get some floor lights or you can get a floor lamp like I have back here. So what I'll do is I'll quickly turn that on as well. And you can see immediately that this makes a big difference. So if I have a couple of filler lights right behind me to eliminate those shadows, then this softbox actually does a really, really great job. So for me, I'm super happy with this and for the price you pay and for all of the different accessories and the ways you can connect this, I think it's a great value to get. So that's about it guys. This is pretty useful and there's so many capabilities of why you might need to use this. If you want to do some photography where you want to have some different colors concentrated on your objects, then this can do that. If you want the capability of controlling the lights wirelessly, this can also do that. And if you just want a great solid product that you can take with you and it's quite portable, you don't even need to have a tripod stand if you do a lot of filming and photography externally and you travel with it. Then you get the grip with it as well that you can just use it handheld or even if you're just a lighting person then this is a very good option so check out the link in the description it's 199 pounds for the video light kit it's around 52 pounds for the softbox and the honeycomb kit as well and with that combination i think it's just a great piece of kit to have for all types of photographers and videographers so that's it guys if this was very useful make sure you give this video a huge thumbs up make sure to subscribe i've got new tech videos out every week which i know you're going to like and I'll catch you guys next time. Take care.